Welcome back guys to Movies Recaps. Today I'm going to describe the Echo Torch. The film opens by showing us a few edges on the wall, at the point when the camera uncovers a bigger piece of that equivalent wall, we see a banner which understands that the Germans have given up, obviously, there is a man looking after that wall, then, at that point, we see something that seems to be a light, it bit by bit turns on, the man utilizes a few regulators to intensify the light inside the bulb, the bulb extends the picture of a sculpture aside, and the man is by all accounts, blissful, similar to he accomplished something that he has been sitting tight for, be that as it may, the energy inside the bulb begins collecting and overburdening until the bulb can hold it no more and detonates, the man gets frustrated and furious and tosses the bulb into the garbage, where we see that he has arranged much more bulbs, he then moves to a shelf and grabs a little carton box which contains a radiant lamp, he works on that lamp and he wets it with a blue liquid, he covers it with a new bulb and screws it onto his machinery, he turns it on and the new lamp is able to contain the amount of power it receives, emitting a blue light, suddenly, a hand appears hovering above the light, almost like a ghost, the hand draws back, the man pushes his invention forward and the light gradually reveals another man, dressed like a miner. They look at each other and our protagonist pushes the machine even more towards the miner. The machine gets accidentally unplugged and the miner is no more visible. A fuss takes place in the narrow space of the basement that the man has been working in, almost like a ghost made its way out of that place. The man looks at the picture of a woman on the wall and seems happy with the result he got. He visits a store to buy what he needs and he gets a metal rod. He works on his new project and then visits a building that seems abandoned. He walks in and uses a flashlight to navigate his way around. Everything indicates that this building is pretty old and it has been a long time since it was used. At some point, the man throws the light of his flashlight on the wall and sees the shade of something that looks like a puppet, hanging from a bunch of strings. He gets his new invention, the Echo Torch, and lightens it up. The blue light it radiates reveals a metal puppet hanging from its strings. When he tilts his head, the puppet tilts its head. When he waves at it, the puppet waves at him as well. He throws some light upwards and sees that those strings are attached to the ceiling and there is no one to be seen. Manipulating the puppet, he walks away from the puppet and gets to a large empty room. He stumbles upon a poster which reads by war songs. He sees a pickup music player and walks to it. When the blue light from the torch lightens it up, the player starts playing some music and various couples appear dancing. The man walks through them and exits the room, which now falls dark again. A few moments later, he walks into another space and the torch reveals some fish floating around him. He leaves that room and walks down the long corridor to explore more of the building. While walking, he listens to a strong roar, almost like a growl and a scream at the same time. He walks towards another room and he hears more sounds. He turns the light off and walks into that room. He investigates and the walls are completely scratched. He betrays and sees a being snarling and gasping, confronting the wall. The being has a human structure yet its eyes look like the eyes of a monster. The manner in which it inhales and it acts, can't be altogether human. The monster takes a gander at the man and furiously waves its hands towards his bearing, making different items fly through the air. The man seeks shelter and understands his light has been broken. He can't see the beast but he can still feel it. He runs away and finds shelter in another room. He quickly replaces the lamp and the torch now works again. The beast approaches him and intends to attack him, but it touches the lamp with its hand and is taken aback. Its hand starts dissolving away. The being gets scared and runs away. The man now descends down a spiral staircase and finds himself in a new room. The torch reveals a woman in that room. The woman gets up and both of them seem very happy to see each other. The man extends his hand and the woman tries to touch it but their hands pass right through one another. The man gets back to the room with the music player and has taken the woman along with him. He lights the music player by using the torch and music starts playing again. Various couples appear dancing, but this time, there is also a single man appearing. He is dressed like a soldier. The soldier and the woman look at each other and they smile. The film takes us back to those pictures on the protagonist's wall, and we actually see that the woman and this soldier were a couple. We likewise see the lady being with a young man in another image, showing that she is the hero's mom. The film returns us to that music room. The lady and the fighter fall into one another's arms, embracing. The hero has rejoined the spirits of his folks. The film delightfully blurs to dark, permitting the spirits of the couple to be the last thing we see. That was all from the video. I wish you love it. Subscribe for more recaps like this, and hit the bell button to help the channel. If you like, you can share your opinion about the video in the comments.